Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another lockdown devotion here from the Lighthouse. Now, right now, I can't tell you what day of lockdown that we're in. I can't tell you how many days of lockdown we have left, particularly um, going into winter. No one's really sure what is going to happen. Um, as I live in Manchester, I can't tell you what tier of lockdown it is this morning, and I can't tell you what tier of lockdown it might be at the end of the day. There is so much confusion, so much anxiety, and so much stress going around um, at the minute. Um, so I'm hopefully going to be able to give a devotion and speak into that kind of situation. Over the last few weeks in, in our Kids Work in Life Force, we've been thinking about the I Am statements of Jesus. These are seven statements that Jesus made about himself in the Gospel of John. You might know some of them where Jesus says he is the light of the world, or um, he says he is the way, the truth, and the life, or he is the resurrection and the life. But there's one I want to pick up on today, and that's found in John chapter 10 from verse 7, where this is one thing that Jesus says about himself. Jesus said, I tell you the truth, I am the gate for the sheep. All who ever come before me were thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. He will come in and go and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Now in this um, kind of like restricted period of lockdown with so much going on, it would be nice to be able to have life and life to the full. And Jesus is telling us here how we can have it. The, uh, the picture of sheep and shepherd is a common one in the Bible. In this picture, the shepherd is God and, and people like us, um, we're the sheep. Um, and it could be that we're in a, in a circumstances or situations where all of us kind of want life, right? We want a good life and life to the full. We want to be able to survive and to, and to have good things. Um, and Jesus is t talking to us about how he is the gate for the sheep. Now this is can kind of kind of be a little bit confusing unless we know a little bit how sheep were kept safe in Jesus's day. Um, if you were a shepherd at Jesus's time and you were keeping your sheep, you might put them in a in a small cave, or you might build a uh, a brick or stone wall, not brick, but stone a stone enclosure or a sheep fold where the sheep can go. Um, and you would have like a, a separate space for the sheep, either in a cave or made by walls. And obviously you'd have to have an opening for the sheep to come in and out. Um, now, in Jesus' time, it wasn't so easy to make gates or doors and they wouldn't last long being outside and all that kind of stuff. So the shepherd would literally be the door um, for the sheep. So he would stand in, in the, the gap in the enclosure and the shepherd would keep, would, the, the, the sheep would have to go through that enclosure and through the shepherd, through, through the door, through the gate. Um, to find safety and to come in and out of the of the enclosure and into pasture. So the picture here Jesus is talking about is how we have to go through Jesus. We have to go through Jesus to to come in and out of of to come out of difficulties and into this full life that Jesus is talking about. Be easy as a sheep to try and jump over the wall, um, which we do in our own strength. We try and bypass God. We try and get over the wall on our own and get into into good circumstances on our own. It could be easier to, to headbutt the wall if you ever felt like you'd be banging your head against a, against a brick wall. Imagine a sheep trying to knock down the enclosure just by, by headbutting it. Um, but we have to go through through the shepherd. And whatever your circumstance of life is this morning, whatever difficulty you're facing, whatever opportunity you might be looking for, whatever is going on, it's really important to remember that Jesus is the gate. He is the door. And we need to include him in our lives and in our decisions because without Without including him, we just won't get to where we need to get to or where we, we should be going to. Um, so remember, whatever circumstance and situation you're in today, we need to go through Jesus to, to get out into a good life. You can do this really practically in two ways. The first way is just to include Jesus in your day, include him in your in your decision making. If you've got, you don't need to have a 25 minute prayer meeting or a two hour prayer meeting. Um, just as you go through your day, just include him in, in short, simple prayers like Jesus with this phone call, help me with this decision I've got to make, help me. I've got X amount of pounds left to spend, help me know how to spend it. Just those short, simple prayers can include Jesus in your day. And then you'll be able to see Jesus answer some of those short, really prayers, some of those really short prayers in amazing ways. But also, to, I think the big part of going through Jesus is, is trying to trying to act like Jesus would have acted. So. In a situation where you might normally have blown up, not kept your cool, or you might normally have been anxious or worried, try and try and mimic how Jesus would act in those situations. Try not to 
try not to overreact try to be kind to people where, that when you really want to be unkind um, and you might be justified in that unkindness but try and be kind to people try and um, not to not to worry too much but to put your trust in Jesus and I know these things can be difficult but um, but as we as we as we seek Jesus as we see him as the doorway to our opportunities and to our new life and as we include him in our day-to-day -day life that I know lockdown can can have good things for us so have a great week whatever you're up to um and we'll see you soon bye bye